What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMI's World and today we're going to be talking about Team of the Week, Week 4. I'm very, very happy for Todd Gurley that he got it, man, on offense. And Micah Hyde for the Buffalo Bills definitely stepped up huge in a very, very critical game that most people thought they couldn't win. Obviously, a lot of the Falcons went out in that game, but still, kudos to the Bills. All right, first things first, I pop a freaks all the honeys. Now, that's a biggie verse, but I'm going to tell you right now. Make sure you remember, always do the solo challenges just so you can get yourself one of the players possibly. I've seen people pull crazy elites from this, so that's just always a heads up. I want to make you know that in case you're, you know, this is your first G Myers World video you know exactly what you're here for all right to learn how to get better and to also see what's going on and what's new all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the players I will tell you this though all right DeAndre Hopkins I liked what he did against uh what, what did it they blew out the Titans right I think they blew out the Titans or something like that um he is part of the Todd Gurley set Todd Gurley being a 91 overall that that's huge all right um because the LT, the Ladanian Tomlinson, that the set that I did, right, for the level master, if you guys go back and look at the videos, I've, you know, showed you guys all the transitions about everything that went on. Um, Ladanian Tomlinson is kind of, he, he's really kind of garbage at this point, and it's a lot of things that are going on that's really making me very upset about him, and I'm probably going to rage sell him, even though I can't sell him, but I'm going to probably just cut him outright. Um... We're going we're gonna to talk about later. I'll talk about that later in another video. But first of all, I just want to say congratulations to the Rams and everybody that's riding with the Rams because they're doing a great job right now offensively. So happy that Jeff Fisher was viciously fired. All right, so now, look. Bottom line is Todd Gurley. We're going to get to if he's worth it in a, in a second. What I like to do is, like what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, is we're going to go over the top three players, okay? The top three players. Now, DeAndre Hopkins, right? Let's take a look at his card really quickly. He's going for a hefty price. I understand that. But he's still only at 89 speed. The release, the jumping. Let me just explain something to you. The OBJ card is a glitch. If you can get your hands on the OBJ master card with the 92 speed, go ahead and do that. What I've learned thus far in Madden 18, and I'm using thus to be politically correct, is that speed is, like, I've always told you in all my videos that speed kills and speed is all that matters in Madden. This year, it's even more ridiculous because what happened earlier today, um, I had a couple guys beat beat deep, right, with that bum um, Amari Cooper. And that's like the basic one, the base elite. I'll show it to you. Oh, I can actually show it to you right here. The base elite Amari Cooper, right? This dude is garbage. He had somebody beat deep, and the dude was still able to, like, warp in front of him and pick the ball. I played against the OBJ with the 92 speed. And he's burnt me several times. Trust me. I got the marks on my back to prove it. I've been burnt with flames. OBJ is the best wide receiver in this game. So would you, would you, would I recommend that you spend 500k plus on this card? Absolutely not. If you get him for cheap and can put him in the slot, feel free to do it. But I want you guys to have the best players. I wouldn't spend this amount of coin on DeAndre Hopkins unless you're a Texans fan. All right? Getting to Roosevelt Knicks, we're never going to go into that because I, I... Let me see what the fullback is going for. I'm, I just, just, just just to laugh. Okay, so they made it reasonable. He's pretty cheap. Okay. Because it doesn't... I, I wouldn't waste money right now on a fullback, uh, to be honest with you. So I don't really want to go into all that stuff as far as... Because it, if you're building your team right now, you're going to... You could put tight ends, like with decent run block at the fullback position. So I don't feel right now that this is going to help you if I go into depth with a fullback. As far as the centers go, right... What you're looking for is impact block and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what he's doing. His strength is low. I don't like that. His impact block. See, I would use him. I don't like his strength, though. I don't like his... I, I like his strength to be a little, probably be a little bit higher. I don't really like that too much. The impact block in 80, 80 and above is pretty good. Pass block and run... I don't like his run block either. That's kind of nasty. Nah. Skip this card. All right? Now, for the snubs, we're not going to talk about Charles Clay. This right here is blasphemous. Did anybody see what this young man did? Um... Last week, did anybody see that or no? Or am I the only person that... This right here is blasphemous. This is blasphemous. A 72 throw power. Really? I know he doesn't have that much arm strength, but really? You you really going to do him like this? Are you... Like, I don't even know what to say about that. I was expecting him possibly to maybe be the team of the week player, but it is what it is. That's what I... And Kamara. Kamara was moving around like a... Like, Speedy Gonzalez. Andre, Andre, Riva, Riva. And this guy... What do you got up? 86 speed. I, I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. I'm, I'm not, not going to entertain that. So as far as Todd Gurley goes, the card overall is decent, but I have... I'm going to see if there's any on the auction block before we get off, if I remember, and we'll see what's going on. But I, if you already done the LT set, I would just stay with Ladini and Tomlinson. If you're looking for a running back, Todd Gurley right now at this point, probably a very, very tough running back to... Uh, to you know, I don't think you can, you know, 
do any better than Todd Gurley. Because I know his hurt. I know his hurdle. His hurdle game gonna be on point. You probably gonna be able to do the stuff from Madden 17. You just hurdle over everybody. All right, Micah Hyde, outstanding player last week. Um, but we're gonna talk about this right here. This is what I don't understand. Right? See, this dude right here was unbelievable. Okay, he was. He has an 87 speed now. See, this is craziness. I might have to mess around and cop this dude. I got Deion Buchanan playing around, bruh. I might have to end up... Bruh, oh, but Deion, Deion Buchanan got better zone, though. All right, but I don't really care about zone. I'm only putting him out there for speed. What, what's his Excel looking like? Like, I thought this guy definitely would have got at least... Yo, pff, mm, I'm Look, what is that? Speed 80, acceleration 87? Yeah, like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to spend that much coin for just another plus one. But Ryan Shazier played... He played extremely well. I, I think he could have been eligible to be the defensive player of the week, in my opinion. Muhammad Wilkinson, okay, the, nobody thought the Jets was going to win the game. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I, look, I, I'm, I'm not buying this card. Let me just, I don't think defensively Micah Hyde is worth it. I'm not going to go ahead and look. I don't need to look at his stats at, at strong safety because, in my opinion, Eric Berry flashback, best, best strong safety in the game right now. Don't at me. But if you do want to at me, you can at me at G Myers World on Twitter. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, Andre Howe was pretty good. Uh, Bethay was pretty good. But l let me just explain something to you, why I'm outraged, all right? This right here, I'm not a Steelers fan. This dude was unbelievable. Yo, I'm unbelievable. I'm probably, I'm probably going to mess around and get this dude. Because I, I got to show support and love for the Steelers one time, man. Shout out to the Steelers. They deserve some love for this, man. They, 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 they do. Micah Hyde, look, I can't really go hard for this dude, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to say pause. I'm just not going hard. Like, I'm really, I can't do that. But um, let's go ahead and see if anybody has a Todd Gurley up for sale. Oh, yeah, that bum Michael Vick finally sold? All right, cool. If you guys haven't seen my video where I show you how bad Michael Vick is, definitely go and check it out. You're, you're going to love it. I give you the full game. You get to see exactly what he does. The guy sucks. Never buy him. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out really quickly, and then I'm going to let you guys get on and see what you guys are going to want to do. We're going to go, and I'm going to go to the quality uh, 91 and above. Let's see what they got there. Let's see if anybody put him up yet. Um, so that you guys can see. Okay, there he goes. Team of the week, 725, which is not bad for a team of the week card, but he's at a 90 speed. So now he's already overtaken LaDainian Tomlinson. So now EA is telling me I don't waste my $18 dealing with this bum that fumbles the ball every play. And this dude, like, he's probably a goon, bruh. He's not as elusive. He got a decent truck and his juke move is an 89. Todd Gurley's a goon, bruh. Todd Gurley, Gurley outright right now. Scratch everything I said about LT being the best running back. This dude right here, this right here, like I might, I might, bro. Look, leave it in the comments. Should I, should I cop him? Like, am I copping this dude? Bro, should I cop him? I, I don't know. You guys gotta let me know, man. Should I cop this dude or not? This dude right here. Are you 86 speed? All right, next. All right, so that's pretty much what it is. That's every um, thing that I think is important about Team of the Week, Week Four. You let me know what you're trying to look for for me to do with my team. I'm going to let you guys know uh, more about what I'm, what I'm going to be doing in the next coming days. Shout out to everybody that subbed to me on Twitch earlier today. We're going to have a lot more things going on very soon. Uh, stay tuned with that. But I got a lot more insight to a lot of the things that have been going on with Mutt that I'm going to give you a lot of secret details to. So stay tuned. Subscribe. Share. And I'm going to see you guys and girls next time, man. It's always and forever. One love.